Hey, this is Sam Wavertron, and I'm here with the Guitar Hero from McFarlane Toys, Axel Steel. Okay, for the packaging, it's got this cool fire design all over it. The top says uh, Guitar Hero. It's got a Guitar Hero logo. Over here says ages 14 and up. And then under that, it's got a choking hazard warning. Got the usual bubble. On the top, it's got some ridges. And then down here, it says the figure's name, which is Axel Steel. And this side has um, some rock on hands. And uh, right there in yellow letters, it says his name again, Axel Steel. Then on this side, um, has a bunch more rock on hands. Now on the back of the box, it's got the fire effect again, which is really nice. And right here it says, crank up the volume and prepare to rock with Guitar Hero action figures from McFarlane Toys. And over there it's got some weird bird looking guy. And another one right there. And the Guitar Hero logo over here. And as you move down the box, you see all the figures um, from the wave, which include Johnny Napalm, God of Rock, Lars Umlaut, and Axel Steel. And you know which one is in the package that you have because of this cool uh, rip effect on the corner. But um, then over here it says collect, uh, collect them all. And down here you have another bird looking guy and another one over there. Now all the Guitar Hero figures are really nicely detailed. The paint is great too. Um, you can tell his kind of rocker personality from the open mouth and the hair. The hair is really detailed as well. As well, and um, it's a really nice head sculpt. And one thing that I really love about this figure is um, the sculpt on the torso. Um, just starting with the neck, it has a lot of detail on um, this part of the shirt. Uh, the paint for his jacket is um, really messy, makes it look a lot like denim. You can see the uh, zipper right there. Really nice decal on his undershirt. It's all wrinkly and beat up. And um, the arms have amazing detail with the wrinkles for from his um, undershirt. And I like how the jacket just cuts off right there. You can see his shirt continues. Really nice, um, nicely detailed belt. They even put the uh, belt loops on the belt. The pockets all over his pants. The back of the jacket um, is a cool funny looking devil symbol and over here has an anarchy symbol and over there says um whoa right there it says metal in really tiny letters the legs are really nice too as far as the pockets the zipper on his crotch um paint really nice it's got wrinkles everywhere looks really good um even on the rips in his pants, you can see the indents in his skin where the cuts could have been. Really nice, love that. Um, the shoes are really detailed too, they look like they've been stepped in mud a lot and cleaned off. Even under the shoes has um, really good detail. So it's a really nicely detailed figure. Now he comes with a stand, and all the um, figures from this line come with the stand, it looks just like this. Uh, black it says guitar here on white letters, and they usually have one or two pegs. This one only has one peg, which is right there inside the O. And it goes in his um, left foot, there's a hole right there, and you just push it in like so. The figures from this wave are a little bit harder to get the stand on their feet, but this one's pretty easy. And then once the stand is on his feet, he stands up 100% straight, doesn't fall over no matter how you push him. Um, highly detailed figure, great stand, really nice. Okay, so this figure has pretty good articulation. The head, it can go side to side. 
Um, it can go 360 around, but I wouldn't want to do that because it could ruin the hair. The arms can go 360 around like that. They swivel at the bicep, bend at the elbow, and swivel at the hand as well. The waist goes 360 around like so. The legs can go forward and back, out a little bit and back in. They bend at the knee and the foot goes 360 degrees. He does come with one accessory, which is his moon guitar. That is um, very accurate to the game. Very, very detailed. It's uh, silver with some black. Very nice neck and head of the guitar. The body's nice as well. The back is um is even detailed as well. Um, well, the, what I this is the back. It's very detailed. This is the front, which is even more detailed. Um, it's very accurate to the game. The strap is made of this rubber material, and um, you can mix and match all the different guitars with different uh figures from the line, and uh, soon they will be selling every single um, guitar from the game with its own uh, stand and everything, but for now they just have these ones and they all fit on each other, um, but to put it on, we just take their arm and flip them up, and then you put, that, uh, put the guitar over them, push the arm down, and you just can push the hand and place it however you want. So, um... It's a really nice accessory. All the guitars that they come with are always really nice and amazingly detailed. So overall, this figure gets a 10 out of 10. It's amazingly detailed. It's scary. If you find him, definitely pick him up, even if you don't have the money, like steal it or something. Well, I'm just kidding, but just if you find him, definitely pick him up. Uh, I bought him for uh, 15 bucks at KB Toys, which they shut down, so they're kind of hard to find now, but uh, you can buy them at BigBadToyStore.com. Uh, so if you find them, definitely pick them up. Amazing toy. Uh, just so amazing. Just definitely pick them up. 10 out of 10. This is Sam Wavertron signing out. Crap.